Hey, yep. Right, my birthday didn't go exactly according to plan. A nasty, stormy, rainy day. I had a video to make for a new Motone custom product. I spent several hours setting up and started filming it. It came to the fitting and I hit a bit of a snag. There were two crucial fasteners missing from the kit. Now, I knew they were present on Thursday, I think it was, when I received and unpacked the box. I searched high and low and couldn't find them, which meant, you know, I couldn't fit them to the bike, I couldn't make the video, so I had to abandon filming. Pretty much a whole day wasted. Now, I blame Oliver the cat for this. Like most cats, he has a thing for cardboard boxes, whether they're full or not. And his attempt to have a bit of a kip in that box had obviously gone horribly wrong. Although he seemed to have fared a lot better with his second attempt. Now, this left me stuck between a rock and a hard place, and I explained to Sam what had happened. He's sending me some new fasteners out, but I'm not going to be able to make that video now until next week. So what to do. Now, over the last few years when I've been researching various videos, I kept coming across photographs, adverts, that kind of thing, that had Motone products in them. I mean, motorcycles with Motone products fitted to them had been used as props for photo shoots. Everything from watches to motorcycle clothing. Now, this is more significant than you might think. When a high-profile company have a product that they want to advertise and they pay for a photo shoot, the people that undertake this work are experts, masters of the craft, and quite often it's not enough just to have a photograph of the product. You need some window dressing to set the scene and provide context. And believe it or not, those props that provide that window dressing quite often are more important than the actual product itself. It's chosen very carefully. They're chosen because in the eyes of the photographer or cinematographer, they are iconic pieces that create the atmosphere that they want to portray. Now, I knew that Sam had possession of some of the original photographs from these shoots, and I've been bugging him for about 18 months to let me use them in a video this video but he's always been very reluctant usually just changing the subject which with sam usually means no i don't want to do it but on this occasion because i was stuck with no material to make a video for today and because it was my birthday he finally relented so first of all let's watch a build video of one of Motone's bikes that do feature quite heavily in some of these photo shoots. Now, Sam has a lot of friends in the advertising industry, and you know what kind of guy he is, he'll help anybody out within reason. He's just asked that I provide a credit for each photograph shown, so here we go, a little slideshow.
Right, here's a name that you might remember, a name that I've worked with before. famous luxury Swiss watch brand. They actually had their own custom Triumph motorcycle built, presumably for marketing purposes. See if you can spot the Moton Customs part. Now, this has actually been a bit of an education for me. As you know, I love Motown products, but I sort of live in my own little world here on YouTube, and I don't always see the bigger picture with some of these companies. But when Motown's own bikes and a lot of their parts start to appear on what are iconic brand marketing, you realise that Motown Customs itself has grown from a small entity that I started working with five years ago to an icon, not just in motorcycle culture, but in a way that is recognised and respected by the outside world as a whole. I had absolutely no idea. Well done, Motown. Now, as usual, all viewers of this channel get an exclusive 12% discount from Motown Customs for any product from their website via a code that I will leave in the video description along with a link to their website. I will also leave links to the organisations represented in the slideshow that I've just shown you. I really don't understand why Sam at Motown has been so reluctant to let me make this video over the last year or so. Now, I'll allow this video to play out with another slideshow of more Motown motorcycle eye candy. Once again, thank you so much for watching this and my other videos, and in doing so, helping to support this channel. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would consider leaving a like and subscribing to this channel if you're not already a subscriber. I will of course be back next week, so until then, please ride safely, and I'll see you soon.